Welcome to the Plan Plus Online system. If this is the first time you've logged in to your account, you may be logged into your start page. The start page is actually a quick setup wizard. By following the steps in the wizard, you can set up your account and be productive as possible as quickly as possible. You can see that the wizard has multiple steps. We have step one right now that goes through step seven. If you change any information on any page, you must click the next button for it to save. You can, however, navigate to any one of these steps just by clicking on the number. So if you skip the start page to begin with, and you want to come back and run it at any time, all you have to do is click the start page link and it'll restart this wizard. This is a really handy tool for setting up your preferences too. If you can't remember where to set your preferences, you can always rerun this wizard. If you don't want to save, you just move to the step you want to by clicking on the number. Or you can just step by step through it by clicking next. Once you've set up your account, you'll be taken to your home page. Now your home page has a bunch of different information on it. Obviously it has your appointment calendar for this week and it has your task list for today. At the bottom is also your daily notes. All these things are very useful for keeping yourself organized and keeping you focused on your most important things in your life. Now some things that you might want to know about this home page. We have a main menu. It consists of a series of tabs across the top of the screen. Right now I'm working on the Plan Plus Online Business Edition. So I have multiple tabs. I have organizations, contacts, you can see all of them at the top. Your tab set might be different depending on which version of Plan Plus Online you're using. Now each tab has a corresponding sub-menu. That's the small menu right below the tab line. Your account manager or your administrator can modify these sub-menus. They can add or restrict access to some of these items. The box right below the sub-menu is a quick search. If you need to find a contact, you can just type the contact's first name or last name in the box and click on search. You can also search on other objects in your database by selecting it from the drop down menu. Of course, you can search from the organization or the contacts or the leads tab too. It's not restricted to just this simple quick search activity. To navigate to any date in the system, you use the small calendar on the left. This works just like on a travel website. You click on the arrows next to the month name to move back and forth in time at a month at a time. Then you click on the day that you want to see and that day will be reflected in your task list and in your appointment calendar on the right. Anytime you need to go back to today you click on the today button. Next to the monthly calendar is your task list. These are the tasks you need to do today. One of the things you do every morning is do a daily plan. And in that planning process, what you do is you put these tasks in priority order. Next to your task list is your appointment calendar. Now your appointment calendar, this one's pretty blank, but your appointment calendar th shows all your time commitments for t the day. It also shows all the things you've planned for your week there is a process called weekly planning and you can see it on the home page menu where you set up all the important things that you need to do this week and then at the very bottom of the screen is the daily notes center this is the replacement for the little yellow sticky pad of paper you have sitting on your desk I highly recommend that if you have notes that you need to jot down that you get in the habit of writing them in the daily notes center because it will save you a tremendous amount of time when you're looking for a particular piece of information. Now other things that are going to be helpful for you. You have the email center that's at the top of the page. This allows you to do email and it's integrated into your system. So by opening up the email center you can send and receive emails and you can take copies of those emails that go out or copies of the emails that have come in and attach it to a corresponding contact or organization record. The other important link at the top is the help and training. If you have any questions about how to use the system, I highly recommend you open up the help and training. 
we have four ways to get help. You can open up a chat session and chat with an operator who will help you through your situation. If you have a question, you can chat with a coach. You're also welcome to search our frequently asked questions area. Of course, there's also email support. So if you need support, something's not working right, or you're not quite sure how to do something, feel free to email our technical support folks. Or you can also initiate a phone call. The phone number is there. So the help and training is a very important piece of this. We also have several training videos there. Some are very short in duration, just a five minute quick tutorial on how to do certain tasks within the system. Other videos and other training are one hour long webinars that have been recorded. Those are free. You're welcome to go ahead and re review and browse through our training sessions and watch them at your leisure. So that's a simple overview of what's on your home page and what's at your fingertips. I hope you find the system to be very, very beneficial to your time management.